Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Generational Nuzlocke. We're ripping our way through blue pretty well. In fact, uh, last episode we beat Giovanni. Um, now we're on our way to the Ghost Tower. And then um, we'll have to zip back across to go... Oh, that's a battle. Anywho, yeah, so you guys know. You have an idea of what's happening. So anyway, update. Um... So, the Fortnite videos are doing pretty well, for whatever reason. You guys seem to enjoy it. Um, cranked out a couple of wins. Um, sure not. I am not sure what... Um, something about blasting on 90s or something. Um, uh, young people talk. So, anyway, uh, you guys are enjoying it. I'll do a couple more. Um, with that, I've been playing around with... Um, on one of the Fortnite videos, because, like, the big complaint is real, real, um, laggy, and, uh, oh, man, I didn't battle any of these people. Uh, it's real laggy, and, um, I had to turn the graphics way down, and so, um, ooh, this could be a bad match for me. We'll see. I'm, I'm way over leveled, so it should be okay. Um, so anyway, I'm updating it on my Xbox. Uh, my goal today is to try and um, upload my first Xbox video, if you will. Um, I was playing around with it. Like, I just recorded a random video. Um... And so the, the, my overlay was not about the game, it was just me basically ranting about how difficult this is. I feel old sometimes, I really do. Like, I'm not, I am, but I'm not, right? Because, like, I don't know, I'm getting old. But um, there's a person who gave me enough suggestions, uh, I think his name was Cody something. Uh, not sure who you are, sir, but thank you. Um, so, like, I downloaded OneDrive. Now I have OneDrive on my laptop. Uh, I figured out how to upload videos from Xbox Live to the OneDrive, and then from the OneDrive onto my video editor that I've been using. Then I had to um, figure out how to splice the two videos together, like, for lack of a better way to phrase it, um, and that took me a hot minute, and so I think, I think I'm good, like, I'm ready, um, and so now I'm updating Fortnite on my Xbox, uh, because like I said, like, I, like, I have it because my kid plays it from time to time, um, but it needed updating. Uh, so anyway, let me check that. Because it's been doing it for a while. Oh, it's finished. Cool. So once I finish this, um, you know, we'll go ahead and try it. And then maybe um, at the same time you're watching this, you'll see that it's been uploaded. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing today. Um, you'll notice I wasn't at school, I'm recording this on Monday, uh, my wife is currently at an interview, uh, to become management, so she's moving up, and, um, that's why I had to be off today, so I've been taking it as an opportunity to get some of, some of my stuff done, um, my classwork is ready to go for the rest of the nine weeks, feeling pretty good. And so now, the baby's asleep. Figured I'd go ahead and do a little bit of recording. Um, I will say that is kind of a fear that I have, in that I'm going to get started on this, and then he's going to wake up and, like, be like, um, but it'll be good for you guys, because you'll get the, the realization, um, 
Everybody thinks he's this super well-behaved baby. He's a little gremlin. He, he, like, contains it out in public. And then he goes out into the world and and just, it's chaos. Or when he's at home, it's chaos. Um, which, I mean, I guess is a good complaint to have. Right? Like, it could be worse. Who's Pidgeot? I think Pidgeot is immune to ghost attacks, if I remember. We're gonna try it. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. I also um, got my 3D printer working, finally. Uh, it's currently making a little Bulbasaur. Um, oh, well, there goes... I didn't want a Ghastly for this run anyway, so that's fine. Escape rope? I can't use it. Um, but yeah, like, I already have, uh, a Charmander, and now I'm printing a Bulbasaur. In fact, I'm gonna go check it once I finish this video. Um, but yeah, I want to get the four original starters. Um, I, I was thinking maybe do an Eevee, but honestly, I'm like, eh, whatever. Um, so, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Pikachu. And then... I'm going to start making D&D &D miniatures um, for Game Club. And so, if ever there was a time to get your nerd on and you would like to join us, uh, you're cordially invited. It's open to anyone and everyone. Um, it's fun. Uh, it's relatively easy to pick up. We're really uh, new person friendly. Why would you do this? I mean, the good news is, yes, it doesn't hurt me. But now I'm hurting myself. So dumb. Oh. Please. Oh, my God. So dumb. Um. Okay. Please hit. <laughs> only to me. This would only happen to me. There we go. Um, um. What moves does he have? Water gun. Oh, but it's a poison type. Is it my no, because it only it will only do twenty three percent or twenty three damage. Golly, this is dumb, huh? Stupidly over leveled and getting her butt handed to him. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. We've got some things, some projects moving. I mean, if, if you are one of my students and you know I've been trying to get this 3D printer and about to make me go insane, um, 
Because, like, it's so cool as a concept, and I got a really good deal on the printer, but then it's, I don't know, just takes, it took a lot, a lot of work. And I'll be honest, like, I had given up on it, and, like, this is, this is the importance. You have to marry, like, if you get married, you have to, you have to marry a person who complements your strengths and someone who makes up for your faults. Those are the two big things. Um, cause like I got frustrated and gave up and my wife was like, no, you don't get to do that. Uh, we spent, you know, X number of dollars on it. Um, it's not going to just sit there and gather dust. And so she gave me a hard time, gave me a hard time, gave me a hard time. Eventually I got tired of hearing, you know, like, rah, 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 rah. um, and so we sat down together and she got the, so I figured out the computer side of it and she figured out the, um, leveling it and getting it to actually feed properly. Um, and then a big part of it actually ended up being the filament that we had. We just got really, I guess, kind of cheap filament, but it, it's like, it's all cheap. Like the, the plastic stuff that goes into it, none of it's expensive, but the kind we got, I guess, was just, uh, it kept breaking in the tube so it wouldn't feed properly. And we're just like, okay, I mean, I can't see inside of it. So I wasn't going to be able to, I was never going to be able to predict that. Um, so someone who covers or, um, highlights your strengths and someone who compensates for your weaknesses, which you need in a partner, whoever that ends up being, all right. Um, I'm not going to get into a spiel about sexuality and stuff like that. If you know me, you know, I don't care, right? Like it's you do you, um, but I, I would I'd even go so far as to say, like, regardless of it, that's still an important thing to have in a partner. Um, someone who exemplifies your strengths, someone who makes up for your weaknesses. Because we all have faults, we all have things, like, no one is good at everything all the time. I swear to God, this is going to drive me insane. I'm trying to do a spiel here. <clears throat> But yeah, so everybody has faults. Like, no, you're never going to find someone who's perfect. That doesn't exist. Um, so you have to find somebody who makes up for that. Um, basically, your your counterpart. Right? Um, yeah, I don't know. So that's that, that, that rant. I thought I was doing the... Yeah, okay, so it was just unlucky. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even... 13 minutes, okay. I didn't even... I... So, in my own thing, I didn't even start a timer. I'm going to try to keep this around 20 minutes, or 22 minutes. But I am, uh, I'm excited, um, to get this next video... Um, cause it's cool. Like what I'm getting a kick out of in doing this is watching the students react to it. Um, like getting to see them on a, a daily basis and, and how they, uh, you know, talking to me about stuff and giving me advice and, and all that. And, uh, Ray, if you see this, I saw your comments on YouTube. You realize I won those two games, right? Um, he gave me advice. He was like, I need to learn how to build, which is never going to happen, by the way. I'm never, never going to figure that out. But uh, he was like, you need to learn how to build, and I need to carry more healing stuff instead of more guns. Um, and this is a thing maybe I'll talk about when I when I start playing as well. But it was just like, I don't know. I One, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not, um, 
quick, right? Like I'm never like my my reflexes are never going to get better than what they are currently. And so the idea of having a gun in like every slot, um, I can just switch and I'll just keep shooting at you um, until you're dead or I'm dead. And then it doesn't really matter at that point, right? And um, if you didn't notice, my strategy when people were building walls and stuff was just to keep shooting until the walls destroyed. Um, because either the metal ones take time to build, and so if you just attack them early, they go down. And then the wood ones aren't worth crap anyway. And so, go ahead, build your walls, and I'm just going to keep shooting. And then I don't have to reload because I have, I don't know, like five guns or whatever. Um, so, I don't know, maybe that'll, maybe my chat, my strategy will change as I play it a little bit more. Um, but let's be honest, um, I shouldn't have won either of those games. I really, really want, like, fingers crossed that this happens at some point. Um, I mean, I guess I won't be playing on the PC anymore, so the lag stuff will be fixed. But what I really wanted, because my name on the PC is Gaming with Mr. M, right? And that's clearly, like, a YouTube handle or a gamer handle or whatever. So I really wanted someone to, like, link their site of me, what it looks like. Because I can only imagine, like, I was rubber banding back and forth. Um, because, like, for instance, like, when uh, there was a part in one of them, I'm inside the gas station or whatever it was supposed to be. And the first time was an accident, right? I didn't realize that there was windows in the... Um, in the front, which I mean, I guess makes sense. Um, there would be windows, uh, but I was trying to go through the wall and it wouldn't let me. Um, well, if you, a little bit later in that video, there's a part where like all of a sudden I'm being shot at and I kind of panicked a little bit. Um, I wasn't trying to run into the walls again. Like I knew that there was walls. Um, and then I made a comment, something along the lines of, well, if I don't know what I'm doing, there's no way for them to predict me either. Um, that was because I was kind of, uh, I was kind of snapping back and forth is what it looked like on my screen. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think, who is the fifth gym? Is it, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll do them in order. Just because. Um, and I think it's faster in the sense that there's fewer trainers to fight. If you go on the um, cycling road, that's what we're going to do. And then we just avoid the entire other half of the map. We don't need experience or anything. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It was fun. I definitely didn't deserve either of the wins. Um, I know there was a couple good, like, I made a couple good moves. Um, like, I got, was in a fight, you know, with one person, and a third person shows up, and then I, like, back out a little bit and circle around the building to come in from a different direction. Um, Classic ambush tactics, in case you're wondering. Uh, so, like, I mean, I did a couple good moves, but I certainly didn't didn't deserve first place. I will say I was presently surprised. Both games, I had a pretty high uh, kill count. I think one of them was 10 and one of them was 11. And, like, I don't know how a, a normal game of Fortnite works, you know. But, um... Like, how, how many kills is kind of expected or whatnot. But, uh, I was pretty proud. Pretty happy with it. Um, okay, we'll just, because Fly is up here. Um, but 
but yeah, so I like I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy with it overall. With how I did. Pleasantly surprised, I should say. Uh, okay, I got it. Cool. And then nope. I don't Oh man, I think I'm having an allergy attack. Um uh, I like sand attack. I like the idea of whirlwind. Wind attack. Cause he's so fast, he's always gonna basically hit first. Okay. Well I don't know. Maybe that was a bad choice, but Ugh. So anyway, now we have a couple projects going, and I'm I am worried about losing sight of kind of the initial plan. But I will say, um, I think I'm gonna use like the Fortnite videos because um, they've been consistently about 20 minutes long. Um, using them to make review videos for the star for this year. Um, and so again, the idea of that is for those of you who like having some sort of kind of background thing going on, um, you'll have it, and then um, you'll also get the history piece on top of it. Um, and then you guys can kind of be my guinea pigs, so to speak. Ooh guinea pig, so to speak, um, in making tips and advice and stuff like that. Um, go ahead and do it one more. Okay, no, nothing happened. Okay, and then we can try it. Why not? I would like to catch Snorlax. I'm still asleep. No. Um, good backup in case um, something horribly goes wrong. If I have anyone in my seventh period watching, you'll know why. Why I did that name? Little inside jab, because I'm petty like that. Sleep in my class. Get nicknamed in my nuzlocke. Oh, uh, oh! I guess it was a. Uh, encounter I could have done. I don't know if there's anything in there really worth getting, though. Spiro? No thanks. Already got a Spiro. We'll give it a couple. Like, I know I said 10, but even 10, like, I just don't have the patience. Again, flaws, people, flaws. Everybody has them. And, like, I recognize it's a flaw, and I still can't help it. I should have more patience. We're playing this for fun. It's meant to be entertainment. And I'm still just like, no, nah, I'm I'm not gonna not gonna do an entire portion of it. I'm definitely having an allergy attack. Ugh. My dogs. I got, got them sleeping on either side of me. Um 
um, oh, so we are about at that point where, um, in the last video, or in the la in the first series, we made, we kind of, we're having, a, I was having an internal debate, um, I decided to go ahead and allow for four encounters in the safari zone, and I'm actually not doing it by area. I'm just, the, the first four Pokemon you run into, those are the four that you have a chance to catch. Um, the idea behind it, there's four zones in the Safari Zone. Um, and I only ever go into the Safari Zone once. And so that's to grab all the items and then um, to get out. So I think he's the one who knows Dig. Alright, um, then I'm immediately able to fly out. Oh, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna call it there, we're at 26 minutes. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for seeing this, um, I hope you, you keep enjoying them, um, like I said, it just I get a kick out of it, and I know strangely enough, I'm starting to get people not not my students watching them, which is cool. But anyway, have a good rest of your day.